Yes, of course I am. The tactics include total inundation of the target at home and wherever they may go, breaking and entering of their home and physical harassment and intimidation. Electronic harassment is used during this phase with regard to email tampering, computer hacking, cell phone spoofing, and cyberbullying. More exotic forms of electronic harassment are covered as part of the attack phase, but may be present in any phase of this type of victimization. The stalking phase serves several important functions for the group perpetrating the operation to ensure that the target is totally enveloped in the operation with minimal chance of, with minimum chance of escape. It places the victim in a victim mind state of hopelessness, especially once the victim has been ignored by police agencies through which the victim has sought help. Don't go to the cops, y'all. Stalking is very difficult for police agencies to prosecute under normal circumstances. Police assist in cases of organized stalking where the victims Everyday actions have been studied through surveillance for months or years is nearly futile. In addition, the stalkers are highly trained, often with local, often with federal or local law enforcement backgrounds themselves. Now, of course, not all. You got to, you know, you know that everybody don't have no law enforcement background that's in the game. Because we got junkies doing it, crackheads, neighbors, people that you know, family members, you know what I'm saying? So where we know that everybody is not, you know, like a, an official law enforcement. Stalkers are highly trained, often with federal or local law enforcement backgrounds themselves and pushing the envelope just short of giving the police a reason to investigate. The hopelessness that, in, that ensues from the feeling that all backs have been turned from believing or assisting the victim is integral to the success of the operation. At the repeated police complaints of break-ins where nothing is stolen, and personal belongings have been rifled through the victim is labeled labeled mentally unsound and further police complaints are ignored so while you be calling the cops this is why i don't be doing that and i try to advise you not to be calling the piggies up because when you see when you say oh man somebody broke into my crib and they well, well, what was missing oh nothing was missing but i knew somebody was in there because they move my ketchup i had my ketchup in this particular area and they moved it from over here somebody did it you see what i'm saying so when you do that they're writing a report up on you and when they write this report up on you it's going to label you mentally unsound this is psychological warfare this is a setup game okay break-ins where nothing is stolen and personal belongings have been rifled through the victim is labeled mentally unsound and further police complaints are ignored only felony burgl burglaries will be investigated by law enforcement agencies criminal trespassing will only result in a report that is filed away without an investigation at worst multiple complaints of stalking and criminal trespassing will result in a psyche psychiatric referral or mandatory 12 24-hour psychiatric evaluation. They just want to get you in there, y'all. The ability of the victim to get appropriate law enforcement assistance helps instill the belief that the law enforcement... I'm trying to tell y'all, man. It's a setup game, y'all. Law enforcement assistance helps instill the belief that law enforcement is complicit in their... Hold on, y'all victimization and limits them from further complaints 
Once this level of hopelessness is achieved, the perpetrators feel confident in, in escalating their stalking to more frequent breaking and entering as well as physical and sexual assault with less risk of arrest. You see what I'm saying? So the stalkers, they get, they get, they get turned on when they know that they're winning in the, in the program. The victim, the victim mind state often causes the target to go into an extreme state of reclusion, which furthers their chance of psychiatric diagnosis. Let me read that again. Hold on. The victim mind state, which is the target, often causes often causes the target to go into an extreme state of reclusion which furthers their their chance of psychiatric diagnosis once a once a psychiatric exam is requested or mandated this part of the operation has been brilliantly designed you hear this y'all this part of the operation has has been brilliantly designed with assistance from the psychiatric professionals and is a scenario that continues to play out to perfection in almost every case. This is the game they playing. You know what I'm saying? This is your world, y'all. This is the world that you live in. You know what I'm saying? People get a kick out of this stuff. This is a, a fun game to play a game on people's minds. You know what I'm saying? So we can get you get you to, to, to thinking that you need some psychiatric help. And get you on drugs and stuff. The stalking, but then they advertise these commercials, say, say no to drugs. You know what I'm saying? Remember back in the day, they had a president lady, you know what I'm saying? Was what his wife say no to drugs. This is your brain on drugs. But the whole, the whole name of the game is to get you in the mental institution and get you on drugs. So that's that right there to show you how hypocritical this world is. It's based on everything is based on hypocrisy. You see what I'm saying? They do one thing but do the other. They say one thing but do the other. You see what I'm saying? They got many faces. Problem and solution, right? You know what I'm saying? They're the devil and the Jesus. You just see what I'm saying? They they the God and the devil. That's how they that's how they do. They'll create a storm and then come back and, and rescue it. You know, that's why we got the FEMAs and uh, you know, all these psyop stuff, you know what I'm saying? To have you thinking that, you know, it's all here to help you and, and it's not. Just it's, uh, it's the same people running, you know, running the game on you. This part of the operation has been brilliantly, brilliantly designed with assistance for psychiatric professionals and is a scenario that continues to play out to perfection in almost every case. The stalking phase serves another purpose. The victim must be located through GPS in order for the constellation of other um, modalities to be used on them. This can be accomplished in several different ways. Stalking may be a stalking may be a way of performing consistent 24/7 GPS location through GPS enabled devices in the hands of the stalkers. But remember, though, you know if they're tracking you, if they're using GPS and stuff like that. You know, you can be out there with no cell phone and they can still track you. So we're doing, we're tracking brain frequencies. You see what I'm saying? You're connected to the hive mind once again. Um, through GPS enabled devices in the hand of the stalkers. This, this ob obviates the need for tracking chips in the victim. See, the need for tracking chips in the victim and explains why the stalking phase almost always comes to an, an erupt end with only the electronic harassment remaining. So you have chips in you. I don't know why y'all don't believe that. Uh, everybody does. I, I, everybody on the planet has chips in them. At one time, chipping the target, much like GPS chipping of animals to study uh, migratory patterns what was probably the more common scenario. However, this exposes the perpetrator group to the possibility of arrest uh, for physical assault if caught and provides evidence of assault to the victim if the chip is found. But see, we're we not, we not, we, we talking different. It says a less risky alternative to stalking the victim close enough to remotely GPS them into the EG, EEG can be, uh, catalog because that's what this is about King the victim close enough to remotely gps them 
until the EEG can be cataloged and used through remote neural monitoring for the remainder of the operation. Our research has reinforced this. We have frequency scanned thousands of victims for covertly placed microchips with very few found on x-ray or MRI. Wow. To add on the, conclu the confusion, part of the operation is apparently to convince the target that they have been chipped. This causes them to exhaust their finances looking for an embedded device that doesn't exist, which contributes to their psychiatric diagnosis essentially while clipping, while chipping was once integral to the operation. It is now part of the psychological victimization. However, because many people have been complaining of this targeting for, for a decade or more, uh, scanning for a tracking chip should probably be part of their workup. Most recently, Bob Boyce, an inventor from Georgia, was allegedly chipped by an agent involved with the NSA. His chip was found on an x-ray and removed by a surgeon. It was a Vertichip brand chip that was covertly placed in the tissue of his lateral shoulder where it under, underwent ma malignant changes. So, so like I said, man, you know, everybody's different, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody's different, you know, as far as when it comes to this chipping situation. But just know that they got something in your ass if they can follow you everywhere you go and if they know what you're about to do. You're connected to the remote neural monitoring, the high mind machine. That's what this is, dog. It's a high mind machine, and they're connecting people. That's why these people don't want to give up, because they're being controlled. You see what I'm saying? They're being. They, I don't think they can give up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think they can stop. I don't think they can. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? These bots are too legit to quit. Holla back.